people of Earth, the following podcast is not real. Well, here we are in your Earth summer, where the days have gotten long. Now they've gotten longer still. They keep getting longer. That bit of ancient machinery you discovered down by the quarry and activated like a ding-dong is clearly slowing down the planet's rotation. Please believe me when I say you have got to stop hitting the shiniest button on whatever giant rusty thing you happen upon. I've dealt with situations like this before, so while I clean up another of your goofs, you sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Camp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Nine years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload a podcast recorded here in the tavern, The Wanderlost, currently in Cadaver Falls in the magical land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always... By my co-host, Chunt the Talking Badger. Oh yeah, baby. Arnie, I just saw the craziest thing over at the Bloated Rabbit. Oh, that's right. We're still parked across the street. Wait, you're you're going across the street to the Animal Tavern, the Bloated Rabbit? Yeah, I, um, it's two for one drinks. Oh, okay. It's just that we have this is our tavern here. This okay. is your tavern. Little, this is, well, this your is my tavern. Ta- this is my tavern. Okay. I'm Would the one that prefer... owns this cursed tavern. I guess it just feels like you're not supporting me if you're going to the tavern across the road. Oh, well, here you charge me double. Could I get yeah. regular price drinks if I stay here? Oh, or... I can't really do that. I'm so sorry. If I do that uh, for you, I have to do that for all my friends. Got, oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah. huh, this is tough. What if I go there, but I don't drink? I just eat, and then I only drink here. Hmm. Okay, I'm having a hard time pushing the food here. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. So the food is actually, I guess, actually more of a betrayal than the drinks thing, because we okay. make our money on the drinks, really. Like the drinks. Can we cheap. cut all this out and hear the amazing thing that Chunt saw? Okay. Yeah. Fair. Fair. We we can argue oh, about. I this. completely forgot can, about that. Because that I was gonna reminds say, Arnie, me. I have written down to remind myself. Argue about this bullshit between episodes. So, I'm sorry. Uh, what yeah, is this amazing fine. thing you saw? The amazing thing I saw is, Arnie, your bar menu consists of live turkey, sure warm, yeah, whatever that is. Uh-huh. It's just a, 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 basically a temperature and a reassurance. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then pub burger, question mark. Uh-huh. So I'm just saying, you said you're having trouble pushing the food. I'm just saying, I'm looking at this menu and it fucking sucks. So across the street at the Bloated Rabbit, Arnie, I saw... A seal and a camel get into a fist fight like I've never seen. Hmm. Oh wow! It was unbelievable. So it and seems like the famously the animal... neither one of them has fists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but I think you know what I mean. A fin, well, like a fin fight or a hoof fight. Mm. Well, it was half a fin fight, half a hoof fight. Cut right to the middle and say fist fight. But it was unbelievable. I guess the animal war started in terms of seals are from the sea. Yeah. Um, but they're also mammals. They spend time, I guess, lounging on rocks and stuff. So I guess they're fighting for sea and camels, I assume, are land, but they also store water in their fat. So um, not that that's anything, but it, it was insane. It, so are you, there's no worry of factions breaking up based on where people store their water. Um, that I don't know. It did seem like the camel was pulling its punches and it seemed like the seal's bites weren't into it. But oh, okay. it's hard to tell, Arnie. It's hard. It's the fugue uh, of war. Yeah. Yeah, the animal war. God, there's just so much going. I, I, you know, I keep getting distracted, and like, there's the animal war that we got to worry about, but also, we're trying to build alliances against these wizards. I am just not having any luck getting anyone to align with us in this wizard uh, war. Well, Arnie, I have good news on that front because uh, we must seek out regents who would be willing to grant us a great boon and uh, side with us against the wizards as they begin to amass land and power. And and in that front, I believe we can reach back into your world and make contact with the Burger King. You sort that that doesn't help us. Also, we haven't talked about it in a few weeks, but the Burger King on Earth in Chicago, it, it 
closed. It's been demolished. What? The yeah. Burger King is flame embroiled in controversy? Uh, yes, exactly. Oh, that's right. Chicken you fries mentioned... are not back. They're gone. What? No, they're back. Arnie, say they're back, please. No. Chicken fries, they're back, right? No, no, I recall this now. You mentioned something about a crafty beaver. Oh, yeah. Yes, we are now getting our internet signal from the crafty beaver, which is close to the Burger King. Huh. Uh, I don't know why I'm not saying it every episode, because it's v- very fun to say crafty beaver. Why isn't it a crafty badger? Yeah. We have a badger on the show. That seems ba- like a better... Doesn't make you think about wood. Opportunity to, uh, uh, you know, uh, brand kind of support, kind of like cross-pollinating. It could be... Crafty Beaver times hello from the Magic Tavern. Put that on a bottle of perfume or something. I don't And smoke I don't know. it. Usador, we don't pay you to think. That's, Usador that's gets excellent paid? news. <laughs> Artie, top five craftiest animals. Fox, badger, wolverine, mm-hmm. man. Sure, okay. I'm glad that we made it into the you top five. You got in there. Five. Cobras, okay? Beavers huh. don't crack the top 50, so I don't know why on earth we're assuming. Just because you prop a bunch of logs up at an angle and call it home does not make you an architect, okay? What makes a cobra crafty? They kind of sway back and forth, dance to the music. They're just feeling themselves, feeling their oats. Okay. Um, they strike Wait, pretty hold fast. hold on. This is a list of animals you want to fuck, isn't it? Okay, so you saw through my one line through that sentence, all right? Hmm. Note to self. Look, if Scribble we're not going harder. to make some sort of alliance with the Burger King, then who do you have in mind, Arnie? Yeah, Arnie. Well, uh, you know, I've been trying to reach out to any kind of royal that we've had on the podcast before, but, you know, some of them are harder to get in touch with than others. All right, idiots. What? What? This bar is mine. Unless you want to get magic into the ground, you're going to get out of here. Do either one of you want to get magic into the ground? No. I think I want to get magic no? into the ground. How about you? No? No. What, okay. That adorable voice seems very familiar. That's right. It's me. <gasps> Dartholomew the boy wizard. Boy <gasps> wizard? What? I thought you were a boy king. Yeah. Well, a lot's gone on since the last time I was on the show. Oh, boy, I've been through it. But uh, I'm now the boy wizard and more powerful than you can ever imagine. And this tavern is now mine. Uh, Dartholomew, it's wonderful to see you again. Please have a seat. Uh, 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 But I must ask, how did you become a boy again? The last we saw you, you were uh, 40 or 50 years old, middle-aged roughly. Well, I mean, I was threatening you, and I do want you to leave so I can take control of the tavern. Yeah. But, yeah, sure. I mean, I'll give you a little... Yeah, we'll yeah, catch, just catch up a little up. bit Yeah, first. we'll catch up a little bit. Yeah, I'll start bit. packing. That's I'll start nice. packing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, while he's packing, I'll let you know what I've been up to. Um, so, yes, Absolutely. as folks might know, last time I... Um, you know, I am a boy, but not in years. My actual age is 135, but Whoa, I was... Oh, fuck. Yep. Wow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know. I look great, don't I? Yeah. Like a great do. boy. Like a great little chubby-cheeked boy. Oh, look at <laughs> you, little chubby cheek. All right, don't touch my cheeks. Oh. I will destroy you with magic. I'll magic you, you into the ground. Don't touch you my mentioned cheeks. Your, you mentioned your cheeks. I, I didn't then, say it, touch my cheeks. Yeah, but you, well, you mentioned we just want to we wanna pinch them and love my cheeks. Oh, guys, look at his wand. It's like twice as tall as he is. Look oh. at the all right, all right. Okay, I know. I'm cute compared to my wand. It's a very powerful wand. You won't think it's so cute when it's magic and you're into the ground. Okay. Oh, he lifted well. it. And now he's slowly falling backwards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my bottom. Oh, oh my yeah. He's hurting bottom. his bottom. Let, let me help you up. Let me help you up. Back right, into the chair. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. All okay. Right, so you're 138. Right. I'm 135. Sorry. And, um, you know, I was cursed to appear as a boy. I was a petulant, cruel boy king. Mm-hmm. And then, through magic, I became a middle-aged man, and I lived happily for a while, but, oh, oh boy, being a middle-aged man, not not everything it's cracked up to be. I had to use a CPAP machine. Oh. You ever try sleeping <laughs> with one of those? Uh, uh, me personally, no. Uh, Arnie, have you ever used a... Have, do you know what a CPAP machine is here in Foon? No comment. I uh, I just I, me and my friends would get together. We'd just complain about our joints. We would. I got a very expensive interest in micro brews. Uh, that oh. was that's that was a bummer. I got divorced and oh, uh, oh boy, oh, I'm, I'm ever, so sorry. Who are you married to? 
Oh, but just a, a you know a, a nice a nice gal that um, I met online. Mm-hmm. Is standing in line somewhere? Yeah, or we fish, were stand, oh. we were we were standing in line uh, on Bumble. We were standing in line at a beehive. Sure, to yeah, to get of course, honey yeah. <laughs> here oh, in this right. magical world. Oh, I beehive. call it in line for Bumble. And I'm sure that this, since you were middle aged at the time, this is some sort of raw, unfiltered honey. A uh, very special high-end brand that that you can't get everywhere. Of course, yes. It was yeah. local honey. And, of course, local. me and all my boring friends would get together and talk about local honey and micro-brews and our joints. Sure. And the whole thing just fucking sucked. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I got divorced. And if you've ever been back in the dating pool in your 40s, oh, boy. Oh, mm. boy. Oh, I'm in my 350s and still in the dating pool. <laughs> yes, yeah, and, and I know I am actually 135, but I appeared as 40. Sure, so I was sure, dating sure. people yeah, who were yeah. in their 40s. I appeared as 40. It's hard. Uh, I, I, in that situation, I imagine it's hard for you to know, like, what the appropriate dating age is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a real mess. But you know, I thought forty was safe. Yeah, you go with your relative when you when you've magically manipulated your age, Arnie. It's of well course. known that you have to go uh, with your perceived age because your mm-hmm. body and your mind begin to take on those attributes anyway. So uh, uh, your your lived experience, while it may inform you beyond your years, you're still. You're still kind of living that 40-year-old lifestyle, like your back yeah. hurts, but you can still do stuff, but not all the time. I go to music festivals, but I leave early. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, you can um, only hear so many bards in one night before you're like, of I'm tired. But I don't need to worry about dating, nor joint pain, nor CPAP, no longer, for I am boy again. <gasps> Whoa, I have reboyed. Reboyed? Yes. <laughs> I ventured through the forest, down the valley, and across the river to Boy Town. And I said, please, sell me your finest boy potion. I sipped of the boy potion, and mm, here I that am. That doesn't sound good. You no, know, well, yeah. I, okay, I hadn't said it out loud until now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but I assure you, it was just sipping a potion out of a bottle to turn myself into a boy once more. I, this is the first time I've heard of Boy Town. What, oh what? yes, it's a it's a whole town of eternal boys laughing, skinning their knees, catching frogs down by the creek. Oh yeah, uh, we kick uh, the uh, can. We chase little hoops down the street. We are oh. boys eternal. Oh Arnie, you you know you're close to Boy Town when you hear a lot of nighttime teehees. Oh, mm. so oh, many yes. teehees. We stay up reading late at night. Yes, with a candle candlestick under the under the sheets. Even though it's yes. just the boys there, no one's stopping them from reading. Wh- and looking what about at your bedtimes? Things. Don't you have bedtimes? There is no bedtime in Boy Town. Oh. No mama and papa to tell us to go to bed. We stay up reading and, you know, kicking cans and mm-hmm. catching what? frogs and eating tadpoles. A lot of rolled up tadpoles. sleeves and a lot of yayatas, I think, as well, sometimes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Get out of here, we say. With all your experience as a king, this seems like the perfect place for you to become a ruler once again. Well, I tired of the boys and wanted to rule over a more competent uh, society. So sure, 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 yeah. I am now a student at the Jizzleknob School of Magic. <gasps> oh, whoa, that's legit, Jizzleknob. Wow. wow. So wait, hold on. You didn't j- at first, I thought you were going to say, like, you know, I, I could have been king of Boys Town, but I wanted to be king of Mansylvania. But no, instead, <laughs> you solid. went straight to Jizzleknob <laughs> Preparatory Academy for young wizards? That's right. I want to harness my inner magic and become the cruelest wizard king this world has ever known. Oh, but what if you are a benevolent and lovely king who used your magic to uh, make your... Uh, your followers' uh, lives easier. Think of all the good you could do for the common folk. Yeah, fuck that. I'm going to be a powerful wizard and shoot everybody with magic. Magic them into the ground. Fear me. I am Dartholomew, boy wizard. So you've given up the title of king for wizard. Very well, then. I think I will be, once I do, the plan is, the long-term plan, my five-year plan, is to acquire a kingdom... Mm-hmm. Via magical cruelty, sure, yeah. and start rebuilding, rebuilding my my legions, my yeah. empire. Ooh. That's fair because you, you know because you're the king of the 
the lost or the fallen kingdom of Grim Fallon. So you don't really have any followers. Not at the moment. No. Yeah. But I am overtaking this tavern and I will use it as my base of operations. So get out of here. Do you want to do you want a sample of the cruel magic of which I am capable? Uh, no, no, no. Well, we'll seeing cruel magic. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get out of your hair, um, but we do need to take a break before we leave. So why don't we take a quick break? I'm going to get you a high chair because I can barely see your eyes yeah. over the table. So we'll be right back with some uh, magic. You guys don't want to see this cruel magic? It sounds cruel. I mean, cool. Oh, wait, cool. I'm getting cool and cruel mixed up. It will be cool looking, but it will be cruel. Oh. Arnie, tell me more about Mansylvania. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern. Arnie, it's sort of an orb that floats over your head while you're trying to sleep. And it shows you images of your father to help lure you back to sleep. So it's sort of a CPAP machine. Oh, I see. So <laughs> just seeing seeing your pap helps you sleep. Just seeing your pap and those good memories from your childhood. I Assuming that they're good. Mm. Or uh, for some people, they're like, uh-oh, pap's going to be mad if I don't fall asleep. Yeah, some people don't want to use it. Yeah, yeah. You don't. Depends. Is there anything like, is there like a C-map? Or a C-map? C-mum? See, Mom? Oh, let's not go uh, no, Let's not talk about Simum today. Um, <laughs> just for all the unpacking we'd have to do psychologically. But yes. uh, um, Bartholomew, thank you for sitting in the high chair. We, of course, will be out of your hair in just a moment, but... It is a high put- throne when I am seated upon it. Of course it is. It is no is. high chair when the boy wizard, who would soon be the boy wizard king, sits upon the high chair. It is a high that, throne. It's a, yeah. it's a high throne, and here comes the dragon with some applesauce. The dragon's right, coming. Right. Okay, I don't like that you're being patronizing, but I do want to have that nummy applesauce. So, <laughs> mm, so nummy. Yum, 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 yum. There you go. And then um, whenever you're ready... Go ahead and just Oh, he's got his... applesauce over all over his chin. Man, I can wipe it off myself. No, you don't need to wipe it off for it. me. He's just spreading he's it around. All over the... Okay, would like you wipe it off forehead. for me, actually? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and while we're still packing up and catching up, why don't I just take this wand away from you and give you this big lolly in its place? No, I, uh, I do want the lolly, but I will take it from you by force once you are terrified by my cruel magic. Oh, I'm terrified here. You can never know. Okay, let's nope. let's see some cruel magic. Okay, okay yeah. get ready. Okay. Get okay. Get ready okay. to fear me. You can okay. do it. You got it, buddy. Nimbus Bimbus, have a hard time deciding where to eat. <laughs> I have cast a spell upon you. One of the oh. only spells I can do. It makes you not know where you want to eat. You're <laughs> hungry. You know you're hungry. I am you hungry. have options. But you can't decide where to eat. Well, I was going to get the pub burger, but there's a question mark after it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that sort of lack of confidence doesn't make you want to eat here. And I was going to go to the bloated rabbit, but Arnie seemed to have his feelings hurt, so I don't know if I want to do that. (laughs) Uh, I have thrown you into disarray. I think the food here is gross, but also the food everywhere in Foon is gross. Where do I want to eat? Maybe delivery, but can I really afford to keep doing that? Shit. I don't want to eat at the Panda Express because the name and the Panda Expressing itself onto my food doesn't sound particularly Ugh. good. Ugh. I, ooh, I like it, actually. Um, okay, this is legit a good spell. This is yeah. actually working in a good uh, good, yeah, a good spell. Is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I you've am terrified. Into, you've been thrown into disarray. Your ranks are confused. Fear me. Maybe we'll just eat later. Want to eat later? Yeah, we'll just eat. That, that might be what it is, is I already ate, so maybe I'm not hungry right now. Ugh. That could you're be. Not, what, you're not. You're not fearing me enough. Yeah, Mew Mew. How long have you been a Jizzle now? Okay. Um. Don't. I uh, don't use my insulting nickname, Mew Mew. Mew Mew Mew. Darth. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that either. Startholomew. I would prefer Darthalomew, boy wizard who will soon be boy wizard king. Of course okay. you will. It's a mouthful. But it, uh, yeah. But it's it's respectful. So, 
Dartholomew, the boy wizard who will be the boy wizard king. Thank you. How have you been liking it at Jizzle Knob? And what what house were you sorted into? Are you House Dingledong? Are you House Roaring God? House Camel Toe? House Chirpin' Bird? I'm remembering all these. I'm not reading them. I am, I am a proud member of House Chirpin' Bird. And, Ooh. well, it was a little bit hard to get in. You see, Jizzle Knob, you got to be a legacy, right? You got to be a legacy. Yeah. You, yeah, you know, your, your parents have to have been a notable wizard, and mine were not. Uh, but they do have a scholarship for orphans. So oh. with my new boy facade, mm-hmm. I just had a meeting with the guidance counselor, mm-hmm. and I acted real orphany. Oh. And now you, I have that, an orphan scholarship. May, may I ask a follow-up question there? How do you act orphany? Great question. A lot of coffin. Oh, I see. You, a coffin uh, with your it, parents in it? You show them, you cough while showing a picture of yeah. a coffin. Yes. I don't know if sure. choose a lot of coffins, but yeah, I guess, <laughs> so. I guess to a kid. To a kid, yeah, it seems like a lot. Yeah. 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 And uh, so, I, you know, you show them the coffin. You do some coffin. Um, you offer to shine everyone's shoes. <laughs> a lot uh, of biting you, coins, I think. You bite a coin to make sure it's real. Uh, if you see a pocket, you pick it. Oh, sure. A lot of extra, extra. Um, <laughs> yes, letting people know they should read all about it. And mm-hmm. then you do a little dance. You do a jaunty dance throughout the town square. Oh, wow. That's pretty Perfect. good. I don't want to upset you, but I um, I just don't know if you're aware. Jizzle Knob also has a Chode scholarship um, where if your penis is... is wide as it is long, you actually get in free as well. And I just assuming if you're a boy, um, you know, that could be a possibility. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. I can get two scholarships. <laughs> well, uh, Dartholomew, I have some very... Well, you have two chodes. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, I've done a lot of spells on myself, and my anatomy is now weird. It's inappropriate okay. to ask me about my anatomy. It's that weird, okay? When, you, boy. when you've okay. magicked yourself as much as I have, turning from adult to child over yeah. and over again, mm. some of your anatomy's going to be weird. Yeah. Okay. I don't usually do this, but I am going to bring out the whiteboard. Okay, so, okay, if it's as wide as it is long, that's mm-hmm. chode number one. And then maybe it's if it's as deep as it is tall, would that be the other one? How do we get to two... T- Class, solve for two chodes. How are we getting mm. to two chodes? Anyone? Um, Usador? Mm, You're uh, the teacher. Uh, no, a I'm man. a guy with a whiteboard. Uh, yeah, yes? What was it? I thought it was a riddle, and I thought the answer was a man. Okay, we're going to put this whiteboard away. Um, so uh, how are classes going? They. Oh, I'm, I'm excelling. I know all sorts of terrifying spells. You were thrown into a tizzy by Nimbus Bimbus have a hard time deciding where to eat. Yes, mm-hmm. it's true. If you thought that was bad... Check this out. Oh. Nimbus Bimbus, think about your uncle. Oh. Huh. I'm making you all think about your uncle. Oh, I, I guess I am thinking about my uncle. I have a lot of uncles. That's, Whoa. Uh, this must smells nice. really disturbing for me because I don't have an uncle, but I'm thinking about my uncle. I, like, kind of, what? It creates a false uncle to those I, who have no uncle. It creates a phantom uncle in oh, your mind. And he is terrible. I mean, he's the worst. Yeah, real piece uh-huh. of shit. Just describe this guy. it. Describe it. Yeah, uh, Usador, what's what's, uh, what's so bad? Imagine me, but uh, his oh, ro- terrible. <laughs> Hold but on. But he's got my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me, but uh, he he isn't wearing a hat and he's not wearing robes. Uh, he just shows up in a t-shirt, and he's uh, drinking an ale uh, out out of a a, a rolled up newspaper. Is this like Craptor's dad? I'm not related to Craptor. I love birds, dinosaurs as birds, but I'm not related to Craptor. Okay. That's I'm not gonna get into this again. So well, this but, hypothetical uncle, does he have a name? Is he Uncle Usador or something else? Uncle. He's Dor. Uncle Bungle Schmitz. Oh fuck! Uncle I thought it was gonna be Uncle Dor. Uncle Bungle Schmitz. Uncle. And Bungle. he That's shows up. Say. He shows up every Christmas, and he's he insists on uh, uh for Gunderstein hitting everyone with the mallet. And you're like, no one wants to actually do that. You just sort of do it lightly, and it's just sort of like a, it's a tradition, but you don't really hit people with a mallet. He wants to hit hard. No. This guy takes it too seriously. He takes yeah. it too seriously, exactly. Then he wants you to show you his new cart, and you're like, it's yeah. a very nice cart. I'm not really a cart guy. It seems fine. And he's like, this cart goes zero to ten in, in about a minute. And you're like, that's fast for a cart, but I still don't care. Yeah, that also means... 
the horse is fast. I, well, yes. Yes. Right? Am I crazy? Yeah, that's true. Horses no, the wheels not. are well greased. I don't Chunch, know. You're not oh, yeah, smart. I think, I yeah, think smart. A, you know, an aerodynamic cart is yeah, faster yeah, than yeah. one that is, you know, less so. Yeah, maybe. But you're right. Uh, horse speed probably uh, has more to do with I it. I hate this spell, Dartholomew. And I yes. hate that the. <laughs> I, yes. You are thrown into disarray. I hate that the chirping birds taught it to you. Uh, because though I never attended Jizzle Knob myself, being a fully born wizard, uh, I would have been sorted into chirping bird. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. And I don't give a fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> but I'm. Yeah, you but I, just not give a fuck. But I love birds, and uh, I love their I love their beautiful sigil, the owl reading the encyclopedia, and he's uh, reading the entry about kangaroos. Last week, didn't you give away a bag of dead birds? Yeah, Chuck, <laughs> we've covered this extensively. I love birds, but I love talking to birds. I love that birds insisted there be a champion and brought me forward into this world. I love eating birds. I love cooking birds. I love yeah. uh, putting them in barbecue sauce. I love killing them and giving them to a bone collector uh, yeah. to get fairy dust that gets me small. Okay. You can't just list birds. That doesn't make for good content. Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, Arnie. let's get back to you two talking about uh, where you're going to eat tonight. Barbecue birds. Arnie. Yeah, Dartholomew. Arnie, Chunt. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. I have a word with you in the corner? Yeah, yeah of course. Please. Let's Let get me away from pick this up guy. my high chair and bring it what? in yeah, the well, corner. Here, you take one. Take the other. Here we go. <laughs> oh, fine. Okay. <sighs> Uh, I have had a notion. Yeah. A boy wizard's notion. Okay. And are you Perhaps. saying potion as a kid, or this is a this is a thought idea? This is a notion, yeah. It's something okay, like okay. so idea, yeah, not an, an adorable way of saying brain. potion. But it could okay. be the, the notion could have been put there by the boy potion. Okay. okay. I could probably amass followers quicker if I had some fame. Sure. Yeah. How does one get fame? Hmm. You go on a quest. Fame. Uh, yeah, quest, yes. I mean, if there's another way, let me know, but I was thinking quest. Oh, um, well, there is uh, Pod Pyres, this new podcast by Two Vampires, and it is blowing up. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, I'd say quest or podcast. Could I but get on let's, that? Probably. Uh, we've tried to get on Pod Pyres. Even we can't get on Pod Pyres. You got to know somebody. You got to, like, yeah, prove. Yeah, I mean, if you, one, like, you, if you, you, yeah, have if to you be did vampire. improv with them, it's easy. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? If you suddenly here's the thing, they're so they're total vampire fuckers. Mm-hmm. They'll they'll have a vampire on, and they won't care about you. But if you suddenly become a vampire, they're like, oh, you're oh, their best friend, yeah, and they want to have sure, you on the podcast. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know how that is. A story of my life, right? Um, a quest, though. Quest. Yeah. So to do a quest, I need an adventuring party, and every adventuring party is made up of three people you know this sure of course that's oh, just a man, a man from chicago a talking mm-hmm. badger and a wizard yeah <laughs> yeah i say you want to swap out wizards you want to swap out that old man mm. with the conical hat for me a uh, hot and funky boy wizard who's just coming up think yeah. about it think about it let me slide in there be your new wizard yeah put grandpa out to pasture yeah We'll do a Chunt. quest, we'll get fame, and I will become the king that I rightly deserve to be. Um, Darth Alamu, let me, I'm going to pick up your right here and put you over here. Well, uh, I'm going to talk to Arnie. Just uh, one yeah. one second, please. Um, uh, hey, Arnie. Yeah. What do you, uh, where's your head at? I mean, look, it seems like a horrible betrayal, but also, would the podcast be doing better if we kind of had a younger image, right? Yeah. I mean, he's hip, he's cool. His spells, like we're nine years old and we haven't added a kid to the cast yet. I mean, he probably knows all this cool lingo that everyone knows, but we don't know because we're not around you. Yeah, like Notion. I'm going to start saying Notion all the time now. Yeah. On business. I'm grumping over here. I'm grumping. Grumping. Uh, Arnie. God, grumping. We got to be grumping. What does that mean? It I don't even know. I don't even it think could, I said uh, it right. If anything, we have to give him a shot. Let's bring everybody back to the table. Let's see if we can really notice the difference between youth and age, because yes. that might help our decision. Uh, okay, uh, let's, um, Arnie, you want to grab that yeah. into the... <laughs> it, 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 so heavy for a boy. Uh. How did it go over there? I, I got my hand stuck in this jar of prunes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, prunes? That's the worst part. God, this is damn it. Ugh, gotta get my hand out of here. Just I've let go of the prune. I've been over here grumping and... <laughs> grumping? Grimpin. Are you, are you grumpy? Are you grumpy? Do you need a nap? 
Is it nappy time? Seems like someone doesn't know what that means. Oh, (laughs) interesting. Isidore. Wait, you two know what it means? Yeah, we're we're totally grumping all the time. Kind of. Yeah. That's born grumping, I think. Are you well, sure? I can't. I can't say this again. Let go of the prune. Oh, let fine. go of the prune. There. I'll let it your go. hands out. Your hands out. Very well. Let us take a quick break while I retrieve some diuretic other than prunes. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. So, Dartholomew, the boy wizard that someday hopes to be the boy wizard king. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still just thinking about Gromp and I don't even have a good follow-up question. Oh, I have a follow-up question. What What is gromping? Ugh. I Ugh. mean, I think it's, you know, if you have to ask, you probably wouldn't get it. Just something okay. that young, hip wizards who attract a young, hip audience say. So should I transform um, myself into a younger version of myself so that I can get it? I, I mean, would love to get it. You could, but, like, it's mostly about vibes, you know? Okay. And okay. I just don't know that your vibes are right. Vibes are right. Yeah, Usador, um, if I am being honest and I uh, am chiming in, and not and not that it's a contest, okay? Uh-huh. We were we were over in the corner mm-hmm. with uh, Darth Olimil. We were just talking about Upright Coffin's Brigade, which is a vampire thing. Um, you come off as too sincere. Does that make sense? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You're always trying to make meaningful eye contact with one of us. Okay. Um, you're just overly sincere. Like, uh-huh. if you could just, if every once in a while you could gromp, even if it's like once a week, like gromp yeah. once a week. Once, uh, gromp once a week. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can probably do that. Uh, okay. Yeah, so. Okay. All right. Now I'm, I'm going to keep um, track here. So he sort of is willing to gromp once a week. Okay. So that's a point in his favor. Okay. So that's a point in his favor. what it is. Uh, he, he is mumbling, though. So that's an old man. So I'm going to put that as a name. And our, our, the whole thing is rolling his eyes the whole time. Fucking classic. Fucking classic, so that's a point for him. This guy I, over here. I'm always saying stuff like, this guy over here. Get a load oh, of him. Good. And I have to assume... Check, please. Holy shit, that, yes. Check, okay, that's please. two points. Uh, uh, why are we keeping score here? Am I in some sort of uh, contest with Dartholomew now? Oh, so, no. No, no, no. So no. that happened. <laughs> Fuck uh-huh. yes. Another point. And also a point, Arnie, I have to give him another point because we have to assume he's always gromping, right? Yeah. Grumpin He's right now, bro. And that's a clue, ah. Arnie. That's a clue. So, yeah. nice. backwards. backwards. I know what will put me back on the Gromp scale. Here's yeah. a butterscotch candy for everyone. Oh, oh um, it's so noisy to unwrap. Please, hurry. Just think how loud that would be in a movie that started at two. <laughs> Come you on, finish. Can we? Just finish. We just- uh, Chuck, should we try to figure out like a, a distraction for Usador while we fully test out Darth Daltholomew as the third? In our podcast thruple, um, yeah. What do you What are you thinking for the test? I don't, I don't know. Like, what's something that could keep him busy for a while? You're saying oh, you or Darth Elmio? You Oh no. Are you yeah. two trying to keep me busy? You uh, or could you go find a giant uh, jewel or something? <gasps> yes, of course. Yeah. I'll be back with a giant jewel before you can. See but in the shape of a sword. Okay, that should last yeah. at least ten solid, minutes. Solid, solid distraction. Um, so what else do you bring to the party? Obviously some very useful spells. Uncle yeah, spells, thinking and, mm-hmm. slang, um, you know, a pre-established audience. Again, I haven't been wizarding that long, but I have amassed some fans. Uh, I wouldn't call them followers yet, but I think, you know, a lot of people are anxious to see what I do with my new skill. Nice. Where did you pick up these fans? Oh, just, you know, like kids in my class who like think mm. I'm really cool. I just definitely get invited to a lot of like dances and hangs and um, so so young, young fans, which is something we could probably use more of. Oh, yeah. And, the you know, young fans, they're very, you know, they're very loyal. Uh, they buy a lot of products. They always use promo codes. Ooh, oh, that could be Arnie. That could be big. That the be trouble big. with our listeners, Arnie, is they keep growing up. Yeah, this could be huge. They don't even know how to use a promo code. Oh, yeah. If you, you listen, I mean, I think, you know, your listeners, they're dropping off because they're like listening to more, you know, Slate shows and NPR shows. Mm-hmm. And, you know, sometimes they just lose their hearing altogether. 
because oh, they're no. so old. Yeah. Damn. That is 100% the progression. People go from Hello from the Magic Tavern to a Slate or NPR show. That's just that's mm-hmm. the next mm-hmm. step. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then immediately lose their hearing. That is that is rough business. Um, okay, so we we are very interested in that. What about Usor is very handy in terms of he has a lot of connections. He knows a lot of people. What is it outside of Jizzle Knob? What is your um, I don't know friendship group like? Um, you know, I mean, I think even at Jizzle Knob, I'm kind of like a lone wolf. You yeah. know, like a kind oh. of a desperado, masterless samurai <laughs> okay. type. Okay, yeah. you know. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, I'm not bringing like, you know, a lot of allies, but, you know, I do have kind of a wandering, mysterious energy that I think people are really going to respond to. Isn't that kind of my role? <laughs> I don't like, I'm kind of so. like the cool oh, outsider. So. Oh, Arnie, sweetie, no. Honey, no. Well, then what am I? You're like a fart guy. You're like the fart guy. You're the guy who's always farting. Okay. You're the guy who's saying something and he gets a pained expression and he lifts up, you know, he lifts yeah. up like one hip and then, right? So here's yeah. our, Arnie, you're here's, doing it right now. This is making me so mad and I'm trying to not fart. And it's, oh, it's not easy. So here's, you know, here's just an example of like a fun dynamic we could have. Like Arnie lets one rip. Mm-hmm. And okay. then I'm like, so that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Holy right? shit, that's good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that and, is awesome. And obviously we're going to pivot to video, too. That's, you know, step one. And I'm going to, like, oh. look down the look right down the barrel of the camera when I say yeah. that. So oh, that okay. happened. <laughs> um, I am, oh, come uh, on, I'll say. Huh. I'm, a, I'm a little worried. Um, so that happened. And then uh, you also said check, please. I yep. fear that that's sort of a set that um, if this were a Venn diagram of you and I, I feel like there's some overlap in that set. So maybe is that a, is that a role that I fill? Are you stepping on my toes? Oh, the catchphrases. Yeah. Listen, I mean, I think obviously, like, all of your roles are going to have to change a little bit. This is a sure. new dynamic. So, like, maybe you leave the catchphrases to me, and you just stick to, like, you know, being the guy who looks for parking. Ooh, I could do that. Arnie farts, you look for parking, and okay. I say cool catchphrases that end up end up on t-shirts. Oh, and sorry, I, uh, one more before I retire. Uh, uh, farts in parking. <laughs> sorry, it just... It just was, I just okay. thought that was fun to say. Farson parking. Um, and, then, and now I'm done. And now I'm done. And I'm gonna... is, I don't know if this is part of the cruel magic, but now I am suddenly second guessing why anyone l- listens to this podcast ever. <sighs> these are the <sighs> things that we bring to the table. Uh, oh, no. I did it. I, I went to the bloated rabbit and I asked around if there were any quests for crystal swords. And it turned out that there was a, a portal directly to a, he- uh, a hellscape beneath the bloated rabbit. And I, uh, I fought a magma dragon down there, and uh, Whoa, I managed okay. to defeat it and uh, bring back this uh, this ruby sword of Skeletal. <laughs> there you go. Okay, get it off On the, the table, table, please. Get it off the table, please. Off the Gross. table, fine. I wanted to get a, a, a crystal gem shaped like a sword, and I brought back uh, the crystal sword of Skimitar, and uh, uh, what do you want? Usador, why don't you ever do anything cool? The, Why don't what? you ever do anything cool? I just fought a magma dragon by myself. Yeah. But when you swung the sword to kill the dragon, did you say something fun and cool and young? Did you say, like, getting grimpy with it? What did you say when you killed yeah. the dragon? User, you're making me so mad. I'm farting like crazy. I oh, said, wait. look, I said something very cool. That dragon was coming right at me, and I said, look, my tavern's parked right outside, dragon. Get off my lawn. <laughs> oh, boy. That's, that's, um... What? We've we've lost Usador. What do you mean? Oh, we've lost Usador. That's the minute you say "get off my lawn." That is, um, there's no coming back from that. It was uh, ironic. Okay, so uh, we should come clean. We were actually testing to see if we should go younger with our wizard Usador. You are what? out, Dartholomew. You are in. We're gonna go to a quick break. Oh, we'll be right oh, back yeah. with more Magic Tavern with Arnie, me, and Dartholomew. Actually, um, I don't know if we have a third ad. I just got so confident because Dartholomew is bringing in, I assume, yeah. more advertisers. So, oh, well, yeah. sorry, no, I threw it to... When I'm on the show, there's going to be another ad break. What? This is, Dartholomew, this is absurd. would you do us a favor? Would you just do a, a, a foon based ad for us Oh, now? sure. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> you ever want darts delivered to your house? Are you sick of going out for darts? Darts.foon. It's a website 
where you can get all kinds of darts delivered to your house. Poison darts, Cupid's love darts, even play darts for your tavern. That's right. I use darts.foon, and look at me now. My gut health has improved. I'm sleeping better, and I also have better relationships with those around me. Darts.foon. Use promo code MAGICTAVERN63, darts.foon, today, and then you'll 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 thank you'll thank me and also this show for all the sleep you get because you're sleeping better from the from not stre- you don't stress out as much cuz you get darts easier this is this madness fuck me rhetorical question up top personal experience call to action he nailed every bit of i that. know and he did the the copy word for word that's All of right. that was, was exactly no, written but down. But it sounded rift, right? It it's sounded true. like it, it was off the dome. Yeah. And that's the secret of these podcast ads. You know, you got to make it sound a little more personal. Yeah. I do have a, one concern about darts.foon. Yep. If they're delivering a poison dart to your home, mm-hmm. does that mean they're just shooting poison darts into your home? Ooh, yeah, that's yeah. how they get there so fast. They're fired. Mm, okay. Like, that's why you, like, they get there in under a day. It's handy. Because as soon as the order comes in, they shoot the dart. So <laughs> Smart. Um, you sir, and 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 you sir, you you do that. Are you having trouble standing up from your chamber pot? If so, I'd like to introduce Steel Rod. Steel Rod can help you by placing it next to your chamber pot. Grab onto the rod and stand up with ease. Drag your withered bones up from your chamber pot, where you just defecated what may be your last defecation. So a cane. It's a cane. That yeah, was well, kind of just... sexy. I mean, I think I don't think that is an ad you would hear on a cool hit podcast. It's an ad you would hear on CBS, the Centaur Broadcasting System. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Maybe the only way to resolve death. this is a wizard battle. Oh yeah. Um, to to the I mean, death, Arnie, or what do you? I don't. Think? I don't know. Can I, I mean, can I you, use the crystal sword I just got? You do have that crystal sword. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, dude, because you might be thinking about your uncle for a while. And go. Uh, uh, <laughs> All right, Dartholomew, prepare to meet your maker, okay, for I, 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 I shall I'm slay you. I'm still new. I'm still new. I'm still, like, figuring it out. I'm, like, haven't been there that long. I've only been there uh. a couple weeks. I'm still, like, you know, figuring out where my classes are and getting all my books covered. So, like, I don't, you know, I don't. I don't know. I haven't done a lot of battles, so like, don't you know? Just don't like. Just remember that while we're battling, okay? So you'd you'd like to belay our battle until you feel prepared? No, I can do. It. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Well, no, by the wizard's code, if you must wait. You have upwards of 10 years before our battle must be completed. Okay. By the wizard's code, I swear that within the next 10 years, you and I shall battle to the death. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I'll see you in in 10. Yeah, or or, or sooner, anytime. You want to do it tomorrow? That is totally up to you. I do sort of like that. As we're sort of entering the 20th year of Hello from the Magic Tavern, that might be the perfect time to replace Usador Mm -hmm. with a boy wizard. And I'll be eternally a boy, for I have drank of the boy potion. That's he's 135. True. You think he's young and hip? Yeah, but I don't like act. You know, I don't act. Age is just a number, man. Yeah. Grompy was cool like 40 years ago. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. People are gromp yeah. now. People yeah, how many, how many people now. are gromping right now? Uh, These I'm things are cyclical. It. I'm doing it. These things are cyclical. Yeah, they come gromping, back. Gromping, the band Sublime. <laughs> it all kind of comes back, right? <laughs> I suppose that's true. I suppose everything's cyclical. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, and Arnie, there's a spot um, on the side of the tavern, and then in back there's two spots. Hell yeah, Chunt. That's some good looking for parking, buddy. Thank, thank you. Oh, thank yeah. you, friend. Thank that's you. That's some good looking for parking. Thank you so much. Ooh, feels good. I feel like I, you know, I feel like I'm contributing. Uh, Darth, I'll you the boy wizard who someday hopes to be the boy wizard king. Do you mind if we read an email? Well, I don't know. What do you? What are you thinking? I kind of like my name and... You know, I have all my social media handles, but what are you what are you thinking? Oh, for you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think we're I think we're going to keep you in the minors and I think we we'll, uh, which is what we call all of our guests. Well, kids, kids are minors, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to keep you a, minor. a kid. Uh when do you go back to school by the way? When do you when is Jizzle not back in session? I I'm cutting class right now to be here. Oh, Whoa, that's so cool. So like so if you guys cool. could pretend to be my mommy oh fuck i'm supposed to be an orphan shit 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 <laughs> fuck fuck ah man ah i don't know how i'm gonna I don't know how i'm gonna be in so much trouble 
Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, why don't I read an email here? Listeners, you can uh, email us at magictavern at puppies.supplies. It's a real email address. Or you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash magictavern and send us a message there. Here's one. Uh, Dear Wally, Isidore, and Chut, with wizard immortality ended, can you finally kill Cam? Best wishes, Glenn. So I assume their name is not Glenn. And their best wish is to kill Cam? That's pretty good. Is this someone that wants to kill Cam Newton? You should like I, wish for a billion more, a million wishes. You got to wish for a million wishes. That's oh, a good so idea. smart. More wishes. Arnie, what are you thinking? I guess I'm wondering, I, I think if I'm reading through the weird typos in this email that all seem intentional, if I'm being honest, right. they're suggesting that now we could kill Can the wizard? Hmm. I suppose, yes, I mean, Can has lost his immortality like all of the wizards, uh, Jen Levia, Jamelius, uh, uh, Tim Tam the Teal, uh, all of us are now uh, susceptible to the, a permanent death. Uh, can amongst them, uh, uh, not different from any of the others, so yes, of course we could kill him. I mean, he's Although, annoying. Didn't Chunt already kill Can? Yeah, didn't yeah. I? I killed Can? Oh. Yeah, you did, but I think that was from a different timeline or from a later timeline. We're in the okay. future. I'm not okay. really clear on that whole thing because he seems to live through time. Speaking of things being cyclical, Can yeah. has lived through many lifetimes over and over again. Uh, is this interesting to talk hey, about? Ar this? Arnie, Arnie, Arnie. Yeah? If we bring Dartholomew on, we don't have all this baggage of eight years of fucking lore from Usador. That's true. That's right. It's right? a soft reboot with me. That, Arnie, that wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that work out great? That's and maybe true. we could, we could be like, we could, we can delete this episode, and we can be like, oh, our neighbor's kid is here, or like my cousin, or like we can make him, you know, like a family member, introduce him, have him around the podcast for a couple oh, months. Like he'll be, he'll be like cousin Dartholomew. Yes, I could do that. I could be a fake cousin for a while. Thank you. Try you know what? If you want this, this young boy, this young hip boy, you can have him. I'm leaving. Goodbye. What? Usador? Chunt, the one thing we haven't been thinking about is the Usador spends a lot of time, like, saving us from being killed. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, mean, I, probably, wouldn't, well, I probably wouldn't do that. Yeah, you'd probably help us be killed, right? Yeah. If you're being I honest. Would, I, would shove, I would shove a knife between your ribs the first chance I get. Yeah. No. Yeah, that, that would do it. Um, okay, but how often does Usador make us think about our uncles? Once a year? That's enough, right? <laughs> Fine. Usador, he's walking so slowly to the door, he's barely past the table. Usador, come back. Oh, I don't know. I'll be at the door in 15 or 20 minutes, so I don't know if I can turn back. Stop unwrapping that candy and get back here. Usador, uh, Unless well, someone says something very nice to me. The weather outside is beautiful today. You got me back. He didn't say about him, he said to him. <laughs> That it was just nice. It's like a nice thing to yeah, say. It was nice. Yeah, it's it's nice. To remind, nice. To remind somebody to appreciate the weather. I mean, yes. I mean, sometimes we don't stop and look around. Who, yeah, yeah. Uh, who doesn't appreciate weather if not old people? That's right. They love it. Well, Dartholomew, before we send you back to Jizzlenob Preparatory School for mm -hmm. Young Wizards, what's next on your path to taking over? Well, uh, this threw a wrench in some plans, but um, yeah, I mean, maybe I could take over the school from the inside, um, make that into a kind of fortress, uh, hypnotize the students to bend to my will and mm -hmm. use them as my magical army. Just kind of spitballing here, but that seems like that might be fun. Well, I, I hope this never comes to pass, but if it does, would you join our quest to defeat the other wizards? Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, just like, talk to me and like like I, I need to see how much I have going on because okay, I, sure. I have to conquer yeah, the school yeah. but Assuming, also like, schedule permitting yeah schedule yeah sure yes, if I'm yeah. yeah throw some throw some dates and times my way and we'll see if we can make one work okay now get the hell out of here before I have to spank you on your butt butt no Whoa. my butt butt no my bottom my boy's S bottom get the hell out of here so that happened <laughs> check please <laughs> oh I'm back I'm back Spoiler alert, he wasn't back. Usador the Wizard was played by Matt Young.
Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. King Dartholomew, the Boy King, was played by special guest Jordan Morris. Jordan is the author of the upcoming graphic novel Youth Group with artist Bowen McCurdy. This YA horror comedy about teenage exorcists hits bookstores on 716, but you can pre order it now at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, they're still around, live and learn, or wherever you get books. More at bit.com. Dot .ly slash youth group book. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Oh, you think these supporters don't have names? What gives you the right? Well, feast your ears on names like Zarius Honeyset, Mr. K, Clayton Owen, Claire Woods, inventor of a large group of trees that's scary at night, Melanie Jessel, Jennifer Gray, Laura Angela Ramos, Nix Winters, Maggie Cunningham, Abby Mearns, Noah J, Jess Burgess, Peter Wilsnack, Brett, aka Rusty Bread, be careful Brett, or Peter will snack on ya, William David Sweeney Samuelson, Trevor Gom, Eleanor Flood, Suzu Zorro, Dan Long, Emily Jordan, and Darren Weinkoff. Patrons get ad-free episodes, all the spin-offs, one night in the museum of their choice to watch all the exhibits come to life, unless it's just paintings, in which case, wonk wonk, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. The most recent bonus episode is a video of our Chunt, Usador, and Flower playing the video game Lethal Company. Here's an audio clip from that very episode. Oh, yeah. gift for me? It is. Come in here. Here, I can try to. Let's see. Oh, I opened it. It's a bunch of bottles. Oh. 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 Now, here's the thing. Honey, you know I love. I know you, you know love. I love bottles because it kind of sounds like buttholes. Mm hmm. It's true. Uh, don't go in the door on the left. What left? The my left, because there is a. You? You, I don't know if you'll understand bullets or a turret, but there is a turret in there. So that. Oh no! I told him not to do that. Hello, anybody else? Did anybody see that but me? Okay, I feel weirdly culpable in that. I, I did tell him not to. Isn't it fun to discover people can be bad at more than one thing? To watch the rest, or to learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Haverman. This episode edited by Stefan Dranger. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland.